What is going down, peoples of the YouTube? This is Sim with Vengeance, the mayor of JM City, and I'm bringing you guys another NCAA 14 Online Dynasty featuring my team, the Ohio Bobcats. And today, we are in the Battle of the Cats, the Bobcats versus the Wildcats here in Lexington, Kentucky. And on the opening kickoff, Ian Wells showing him how it's done, finds the hole, and look at him cut towards the outside and to the 50, and no one's going to catch him to the 25, to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Five, touchdown Ohio 7 nothing after the opening kickoff oh my god but here's Maxwell Smith the Kentucky quarterback back to throw and he goes absolutely nowhere with that as he overthrows his receiver and we're gonna get the ball back first and 10 and our starting running back is Gerald Dickerson who I recruited he is a freshman running back uh, I have many reasons for starting him over uh, Daz Patterson who was an 81 overall Daz Patterson's only 5'6 110 pounds and Daryl Dickerson's about, I'd say 5'11", about 200. He has more upside than uh, Patterson, and I feel like he can get the job done this season. So we're going to see against an SEC opponent. This is actually a tough test for uh, the Ohio Bobcats. We're going to see what we could do with this brand new offensive squad. Everybody on this offense is... And as the Seagulls interrupt me, uh, Kentucky scores a touchdown and it's 7-7. But as I was saying about this offense, 99% of these guys are new. I think there's like one guy that stayed. And that happens to be the guy who just caught the ball, Chase Cochran. But everybody on this offense is pretty much new. Every starter is, well, every starter is new. But Chase Cochran did play a big role on the team last year. So that's why I'm saying he's not really anybody new. He was a big part of the offense last year, but he is a, a brand new starter. So we're here on third and 12 right here. Back to throw is Darius Vick. He's looking and... Wow, way to go, Darius Vick. Way to start off with two career interceptions in your first career start. But you see they're going deep and he's going to burn me down the field on the very next play. DeMarco Robinson for the 62-yard touchdown, and it's 14-7 Kentucky. Now, here comes Gerald Dickerson. Gets the first down after a gain of four yards. Simple run, but it gets the job done. Now, second and 26 here. I get the pass off to Chase Cochran. Spin move. Oh, my God. And he gets 25 yards, 25 and a half yards on that play. So, third and inches. Just the beginning of the second quarter. Here comes Darius Vick with the read option. He's not as fast as Tyler Tettleton. But he has decent enough speed to make up for, like, you know, to do a read option. Because, you know, we need a speedy quarterback in here. And I'm going to miss the hell out of Tettleton because right now, uh, Darius Vick isn't doing so hot if you've really been paying attention to the video. So, second and 12. Vick back to throw. I'm so used to saying Tettleton. I almost spit it out like four times already. But off to Chase Cochran for a gain of, and a first down. Here's Darius Vick once again. Scrambling out of the pocket. Gets the completion to Cochran. Gets a first and goal for the Ohio Bobcats. We're trying to tie this game back up. Now it's first and goal. Darius Vick again, scrambling out of the pocket. He's going to take off himself. Touchdown, Ohio. It is now 14-14. to Now it's Kentucky's turn. Second and four with 3.30 left in the first half. Hand off to Clemens. Clemens gets a first down. Josh Clemens, their running back. And they like to run a lot of no huddle. As you see, Josh Clemens again getting another first down. As look at our defense. Our defense is still there except for Nick Barber. Um, but I don't know what's going on because the defense isn't doing their thing like we're used to seeing it. But you see, off to blue, and he gets a first down. Javes blue, 23 yards, and a fresh set of downs for Kentucky as they are near scoring range, actually in the red zone. Second and one handoff. No, we're not. He's going to put do a read option, and look at him go. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that slow-ass stumble, though? He's like boom, 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 like five seconds after one other. He's with that step. So, 225 left. Here's Kentucky once again running the pistol, handing it off, and oh my god, I thought I had him in the backfield, but look at this. Look at the face mask right there. That was too obvious. They're going to call that 100% of the time, and now they got a fir automatic first down on that. So first and goal inside the five-yard line. They're primed to score. So we're going to see if we can make a stop as Smith back to throw. He's trying to take off out of the pocket. Here comes Russell, forces the fumble. Two Kentucky players dive over the ball, but don't get it. And we get it back. So we just saved ourselves a big touchdown. And we could possibly take the...
Alright, Vic, come on. That's three picks in the first half. This is ridiculous. No more mines. Smith back to throw. Looking. Gets a wide open pass to Shields. And Shields inside the five yard line. And Kentucky's looking primed to score once again after that gain of 19 from Maxwell Smith. And, you know, hopefully we can force another fumble maybe. But uh, chances of that actually happening are unlikely. As you see, Josh Clemens gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. It's 21 14. Now the second half is here. And we're trying to get back in the game tie this game back up Maxwell Smith back to throw he's looking taking his time gets the completion to Clemens and Clemens just short of the first down fourth and one and we get the ball back let's go we want to get a score here second and four we're handing it off to Gerald Dickerson he gets the outside edge gets inside the 30 gain a nine and a first down for Gerald Dickerson who's making his freshman debut here He's doing actually pretty damn well, if you ask me. So Darius Vick again back to throw, and it's picked off again. Oh, my God, Darius Vick. God dang, man. He is looking god-awful. He's it's If it wasn't for that kickoff return and him, you know, if it wasn't for Dickerson, I know Dickerson hasn't scored a touchdown, but he has played a huge factor in this game. He's the only reason we're still in this. you got to give props to the defense, too, because right now, after four interceptions, we should be down by, like, I don't know, four touchdowns. But as it stands, we're still down by seven. We still got three minutes left in this quarter, plus the fourth quarter. Here down in third and ten. It's Smith back to throw. He's looking, throws it down the field to Collins, and Collins gets a first down, and they're near the 35-yard line. Look at the score once again to get themselves a two-touchdown lead. Third down and five here for Kentucky. Let's see what they could do. Hand off to Clemens, and Clemens is going nowhere after that. It's a gain of four and a fourth down and one for the Kentucky Wildcats. They're going to go for it, and look at this defensive stand oh my goodness I've never seen a defensive stand like this and we get the ball back as Jojo Kemp could not go anywhere here's Darius Vick throwing a screen pass to Gerald Dickerson and Dickerson down the sideline gets a big gain right there and a first down after a gain of 20 nice play by Gerald Dickerson he is such a boss he has so much upside I cannot wait to play with this guy more as you see I give it off to Jimmy Lewis my freshman receiver yes I'm starting two freshmen don't judge me, okay? We're trying to give these guys who have upside, who have potential to become great. We're going to try and get them some early playing time in their career so they can possibly, you know, maybe even go to the NFL. Uh, last year, uh, Tettleton and Blankenship did not go pro as good as they played last year, but they didn't go pro. So I'm not going to sleep lose sleep over it. So we're just going to continue on and hopefully tie this game. We're inside the five-yard line now. We're primed to score. Man, if we mess this up, I have no idea what we're going to do. First down, gain of three. Okay, we're at the one-yard line. We're literally an inch away from scoring a touchdown. Second and goal, handoff. Looks like I could have got in there, but I didn't get there. So we're literally an another inch closer to the end zone. I don't know how much closer we could possibly get. Third down and goal. I'm going to hand off again to Daz Patterson. I don't like Daz Patterson at all. Just throwing that out there. He's too slow. He's too On this game for a running back, he's slow. But on fourth down, Darius Vick gets sacked. Goal line stand by Kentucky, and I completely fucked up. But I do not like Daz Patterson for a reason that, he, like I said, he's too short. He's only 180 pounds, and he doesn't have enough speed in my opinion. 88 speed for a running back just doesn't cut it for me, unless you're like Marshawn Lynch or LeGarrette Blount when LeGarrette Blount was good. But you see Smith back to throw. He's going to take off running, and look at my guys missing. Look at him just go back and forth, zigzagging back and forth. I mean, come on, he's trolling right now. So he gets a gain of 35 on the play, and this game was pretty much over after that. I didn't get the ball back. So we ended up losing this game. So we started off 0-1 just like last season. Uh, J.D. Harmon, the guy who got those two interceptions to play of the game. Sucks that we lost, but hey, there's still 11 more games left in the season. So I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like. Please subscribe if you're a first time viewer. Also stop by my second channel, Old School Sin, if you're into Pokemon Let's Plays. And until next time, my name is Sin with Vengeance and I am the mayor of Jam City. And I am out of here. Peace.